All right, this is the Atomic Clock with four and a half inch digital numbers. Look at that. According to the literature, after the original setup, the digital clock never needs setting again. Now, this was sent to me for evaluation purposes, but all opinions are my own. Let's take a look and see what we get in here. Let's look at this thing. Comes wrapped up nice, it's in bubble wrap. And we have the clock itself and the outdoor sensor. Check that out. So it comes with the instruction manual. These instructions can also be downloaded on the Amazon page that you found this at. There's a lot of good information in there, such as the best placement of the outdoor sensor and how to program the various and many features of this clock. So they're definitely worth going through. Nice that the, the clock itself is covered in a plastic sheeting. This big old clock runs on four AA batteries, which we got right here. And the outdoor sensor runns on two AAA batteries. Got those right here. According to the owner's manual, when you put the batteries in the clock, you have three minutes to put the batteries in the outdoor sensor. Once the batteries are in, the devices will sync up to each other. It also says that you should keep them close together for about 15 minutes for the strongest signal, and it recommends that they stay about five to 10 feet away from each other. Why do they call this the atomic clock? Because after you set it up for the first time, the clock adjusts the time and the calendar to the atomic signal automatically right down to the seconds. It says when the wall clock detects the atomic signal, the signal strength indicator will become animated. I'm looking for it up here, so let's see if it just does it all by itself. Okay, there it is. It's starting to flash. We have a signal. It's looking, searching for the atomic clock signal. I want to point out a couple of features here on the atomic clock. I want to show you how to manually set this clock up. And it's pretty easy to do. Let me just flip it over on the back here. I wanted to also show you that it has a stand on here. So you can stand it up on a table like this. It also has three holes where if you wish to hang it on a wall on the back, I'm gonna leave this stand up, on the back of the set button, the alarm button to set your alarm, up and down buttons, and the channel button. The channel button works with the remote. You can actually sync up to three remotes with this. Right now I've got it on channel one because that's the remote that's set up to my outside temperature, which is 68 degrees right now. I've got that, I've got that sensor sitting outside about 20 feet from here and it is through a wall and around a corner and it's working just fine. Here's my indoor temperature. But if I had two more of these, the outdoor sensors, I could change it to channel two and channel three. But right now I've got that first one set on channel one. So let me show you how to manually set this thing up. On the back, there is a set button all the way over here to the left. You press and hold the set button for three seconds. It beeps and it goes into setup mode. Right now, the first set, first setting is the atomic clock. I've got it on. You can switch that off if you want. Let me just switch that off. You hit the set button and it goes to the next setting, which is the year. So, and you can use the arrow buttons up and down to change the year. Of course, it's well, 2022, so that's where we're at. Uh, next, it goes to the month, and it goes to the day, the day of the month. And you, again, you can use the arrow buttons to change that. Uh, the next one it goes to is whether you want a 12-hour or a 24-hour clock. So we want a 12-hour. It's 12 o'clock right now. You can change this up and down. If you cycle through it, it changes from p.m. to a.m. And it goes to the minutes, and you're done. And on the back also, we have the alarm button which is the second one over. So if you want, you press the alarm button once, it tells you what your alarm is currently set for. And if you press and hold the alarm button, it allows you to change it. So we set it for 6 a.m., press the alarm button again and again, and there it is, the alarm is set. And we have a nice large digital display clock that we can either set on a table, we can hang it on the wall. We've got a temperature gauge we can put outside to tell us what the outside temperature is. We know what the indoor temperature is. We know what the date is. We know what day of the week it is, the month and the day. Pretty cool, pretty cool for anybody I would think that wants to have a large display digital clock, the atomic clock, check it out.